This video is going to help you to plot linear graphs using what's called the cover-up method. Um, it's really a quick way of finding two points that go on the graph and then joining them up to form a straight line. Um, so here we have an example of a question which could be answered using the cover-up method. Whenever you see some x's and some y's added together or taken away equals a number, you'll be able to use the cover-up method. So if I were to just quickly come up with some more examples, anything like this, okay, anything like this, okay, 4x minus 3y equals 24. You could have anything where you've got some x's and then some y's equals a number. You could use the cover-up method, and it's quite an effective way of working. So here's the first example that I'm going to run through with you. Basically, the cover-up method relies on this. We're going to find two points um, which could go into a table of values, okay, but don't necessarily need to. Um, and the two points are going to be the point where x is equal to 0 and the point where y is equal to 0. The reason I choose those two numbers, uh, those two positions, the x is 0 and the y is 0, is because that makes it really easy to calculate. So if we look at the formula here, and I'm thinking to myself, right, well, what if x was equal to 0? So this, if you can see this, this 3x here would be nothing, because 3 times nothing is nothing, and I get 2y equals 6. And when you do that, when you imagine that that x is equal to 0, it's almost like you can cover up that part and just say, right, my 3x is going to equal nothing, so my, my formula now becomes 2y equals 6, and I hope that you can solve that equation. 2y equals 6, if you half both sides of the equation, you get y equals 3. And that aspect there, why when I cover up that part, is why this is called the cover-up method. I'm covering up one part, the x part, and I'm working out the y value. And then, if you guess what I'm going to do next, I'm going to cover up the y part and see what the x value is. Now, 3x equals 6. 3x's make 6. So to work out x, I've got to do 6 divided by 3, and I'm going to get the answer 2. Okay. So this cover-up method is really relying on the fact that you understand that you can put 0 in the position of the x and 0 in the position of the y. Once you've got those two points, you've got 0, 3, which is here, and 2, 0, which is here, you can then join those two points up with a straight line and you should get your graph. Now you've got to be really careful at this point to try and make it as accurate as possible. Try to follow the pattern. If this is down 3 and along 2, then try and follow the same pattern. Down 3, along 2, down 3, along 2. You can see there I was a little bit inaccurate. Okay, probably you still get the mark, but um, you could be a bit more careful. Right, if we have a look at question 2 that I've got here, um, this one's slightly different in that it's got this negative involved, um, this x minus 4y equals 4. But we're going to do it in the same way. Right, I'm going to create a little table of values here, just two values in this one, the 0 and the 0. And I cover up when x is 0, I've now got minus 4y equals 4. That's quite a tricky one to solve, minus 4y equals 4. But if you divide by negative 4, so 4 divided by negative 4, you're going to get a negative 1. Let's just check that's right. Negative 4 times by negative 1 does make positive 4. Yes, negative 1 is the correct number to go in there. Then if I cover up the y's, I've got x. Ignore that minus because it's not really minus anything. I'm covering that up as well. x equals 4. Just a single x equals 4. So no division needed. I've got that answer. So let's have a go at plotting these two points. 0 minus 1 is here, and 4, 0 is there. Remember what I said about trying to make sure that you go a bit further with your uh, coordinates that you're plotting. So these two can be a bit inaccurate if you're trying to plot a straight line between just two points. So try and get a third. Try and look at the pattern. It's back 4, down 1. So I go back 4 and down 1 like that, and I've got a third point. And that just helps me to make sure that the line is really, really accurate.
So I'm going to draw my straight line through those three points, like that, and I have now used the cover-up method to work out the, where that line is going to go. So key points about the cover-up method are, first of all, um, you cover up the x part of the formula, and you work out the value of y. And then second of all, you cover up the y part of the formula, and you work out the value of x. And once you've got those two points, you should be able to draw a straight line, and you should check with a couple more points to make sure that you've got it in exactly the right position.